Hey everybody, it's Josh here. I'm going to be behind the camera for a minute here explaining what we're doing. Um, I read a couple of comments about people that don't like cold steel machetes. And I really don't think they're giving them all the credit they're worth. Um, I've had a couple of cold steel machetes and one was okay. That would be the Latin style machete. I have no reason to uh, test it because I know it's just okay. I've done cut tests with it and it wasn't all that. But um, another one in the $20, $25 range that uh, people need to take notice of is the Kukri machete. Um, it is one of the made in South Africa models. This is it right here. And it has this weird bolo or rounded edge there, which makes it ridiculous for cutting through things. Um, it was specifically intended to cut through uh, just about anything. Cut through meat amazingly. This knife has never been sharpened. Um, I don't have the tools to sharpen something of that goofy edge. But anyways, it is still ridiculously sharp. And I'm going to go ahead and cut through those um, birch limbs over there. Those birch limbs are about an inch thick. And they should be green. That was cut down this year. So we're going to go ahead and chop into that. I've got a 2x4 over on this side that I'm going to pick up and go ahead and chop through. So watch and see what you see. That's a green uh, birch limb. I cut in half and made a spear out of it in under a minute. If that's not good enough performance from a machete, I'm not really sure what you expect out of a machete. Works great for delimbing. There's another one. This one's not as green. A little softer. <laughs> Okay, time for the 2x4. This is a pine 2x4. It's actually rough cut. Made out in Fox, Alaska. Sorry I couldn't do this video in my studio. Would be a little more scientific there. But it's not safe.
따뜻해요. 그 다음에 이렇게 해서 이렇게 해서 이렇게 Pine 2x4, two limbs, hard birch, one limb soft birch, sharpen both ends. If that isn't enough machete for you, I don't know what you're looking for. I'm going to go pass out somewhere. Uh -huh.